rise and remain standing for the Blacksburg High School Class of 2021.
seated. Good morning. It is my pleasure to welcome members of the class of 2021. to this year's Blacksburg High School graduation ceremony on this beautiful morning. I would like to begin this ceremony with recognition of two honored guests, school board members, Sue Cass and Mike, uh, Mark Chewbacca. Next, I would like to recognize a group of people sprinkled throughout the stadium. It is through their commitment to providing a quality education and in many cases their refusal to give up on a student that these young people have achieved this milestone in their lives. For their contributions to the education of our graduates, please join me in thanking the BHS faculty and staff. Personally, I would like to thank a few individuals by name. First, to our assistant principals, Mrs. Flynn, Mrs. Hipple, and Mr. Simpson, for their constant vigilance in checking in with our students to make sure they remain on track with their academic progress, and to let them know that they care about them on a daily basis. There are some graduates here this morning that certainly would not be with their class if it had not been for these individuals' help, mentoring, and encouragement. Thank you. Next, I'd like to thank our school counselors, Ms. Combs, Mr. Cox, Ms. Royer, and Ms. Lucy. They have done a great job keeping track of all of our students advising them and working with them to achieve their goals. BHS and this community are blessed to have them with us. Thank you. Helping with everything in the counseling office are Mrs. Noble and Ms. Wright. Without their help, it would be hard to get everything done. So thank you. Ms. Reganti, Ms. Scharzer, Ms. Showalter, and Mr. Mathis. There were many meetings, emails, and lists. This team, led by Ms. Reganti, worked tirelessly to make this ceremony a memorable occasion for all of us. Thank you. And lastly, behind each of today's graduates, there is a parent, or guardian, or other adult in the audience who helped to raise these young people that are now before us. With your love and support, these young people have completed 13 years of formal education and are ready to face the next stages of their lives with confidence. Graduates, please join with me in thanking that special person or people in your lives. This morning we honor all members of the Blacksburg High School class of 2021. Some are graduating with honors. Some had to fight hard for every passing grade. For some, it was easy. Others had to come to overcome tremendous obstacles and barriers. Whatever obstacles or setbacks had to be overcome, whatever difficulties had to be defeated, whatever failures had to be conquered, you are here this morning with the joy of having achieved a goal. You have completed your formal public education, and after today, each of you will join the rights of many proud members of our community past and present. You will be Blacksburg graduates. 
I hope you will remember this day with great fondness and look back on it as a milestone in your life. As we celebrate the end of your secondary schooling, you are only beginning to learn what life may have in store for you. Soon your excitement may give way to anxiety about what's next. What lies ahead for you in the adult world? Members of this class will leave here to serve in our military, to become students at colleges, universities, or trade schools all across the country, and others will directly enter the workforce. As you transition from Blacksburg High School to a seemingly infinite larger world, I wish you great success in the immediate and distant future. On a personal note, I would like to say this class has special significance to me. Four years ago, we entered Blacksburg High School together. I was the ninth grade principal and worked with the class specifically during that first year. Now, as your principal this year, we have weathered the storm of shutdowns, change, flexibility, and we've made lemon, lemonade and a few desserts out of the lemons that we were given. There have been good days and some not so good days, but we made it. This season has come to an end. We have endured the storms and I hope there are blue skies ahead for all of us. You were my first group of BHS students and you will be my last. My life has been richly blessed to serve you and your families, and I wish you all the best. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the student speaker, Dessel. make this graduation possible. I'm sure the class of 2021 has been looking forward to today for a very long time, and I'm honored to be able to speak to everyone on this special day. We're finally graduating. We've been counting down the days for this moment, but now that we're here, it's a lot more terrifying than I've imagined. I dreamt up streamers and balloons and cake and parties and pictures, but didn't anticipate the wistful nostalgia in all that we're leaving behind. I've played soccer with the same girls for the majority of my life. And last week, as I sat in the locker room celebrating our recent win, I realized that the sun is setting on the time I have left with them, just as all of us will soon be leaving our familiar groups behind. It's bittersweet and scary, but hopeful, as new beginnings often are. And we made it this far thanks to the support of our amazing teachers, families, and friends. So thank you to our teachers who adapted to this year's special circumstances and managed to find ways to make class engaging in spite of them. Thank you for your patience and understanding when we struggled to stay motivated and for taking the time to check in with us when sometimes all you saw of us was a name attached to another white circle. We know it wasn't the best of circumstances for you either, especially when classroom notifications were rolling in at 4 a.m. the day grades were due. Thank you to our parents for making sure we were awake in time for school and for packing our lunches every day, for believing in us and pushing us to be the best that we could be. And to my fellow graduates, thank you for your perseverance. Our senior year was filled with unforeseen obstacles, with few redeeming qualities. We often got the short end of the stick, missing out on prom, free football games, and the general excitement of senior year. 
I know many of us struggled this year, but we still made it through each day. We were flexible and we overcame every challenge step by step. We held virtual club meetings, found success in virtual competitions, won state championships, and celebrated through FaceTime calls and socially distanced loitering. We stood up for our beliefs as the world seemingly burned down around us, and we shared snaps of each other's stress crying and happily moved to procrastinate some more on TikTok and Instagram. The memories we made weren't the ones we expected to have, but they still outshine the challenges of this year. So as you all take steps towards your next adventures, be fearless and embrace the hurdles that come your way. Learn from each experience and you'll come out stronger and smarter than before. Along the way, remember to lean on the people around you when you're lost or need a spark of excitement in life. Whether that be a broom or someone new you meet in your journey. I hope you will also continue to play an active role in your new community and be a friend that others can depend on. And lastly, I hope you'll be confident in your ability to continue accomplishing incredible things. You have created an amazing foundation for yourself at Blacksburg High School. In your next chapter, whether that be continuing your education, exploring the world, or entering the workforce, will be equally wonderful. I'm excited to keep up with everyone's amazing accomplishments in the future, since the class of 2021, during these unprecedented times, has finally graduated. President of the class of 2021, will now address her class and all of you. Good morning. Uh, it is my pleasure to share with you all a message from the whole senior class office team. First of all, we would like to express our gratitude to all of the people who made this ceremony possible. We know that it was a difficult and confusing process, and that the fact that and the fact that we are able to have this ceremony together is something that we all deeply appreciate. Secondly, thank you to our families, our friends, and the faculty for being here today. Thank you for making up the support systems that we all have been able to rely on, for being our shoulders to cry on and our hands to hold. To be a high school student, is not an easy thing, but it becomes much easier when you have people there to help you along the way. Thank you. Thank you all for everything you've done and all that you've given to, e to get each of today's graduates to this point. And thank you to our fellow graduates for being here today and for being here alongside us over these past years. It has truly been an honor and a privilege to go through the many challenges and trials that come with the high school career with you all. While we have not all had the pleasure of personally befriending all of you, we want you to know that we are immensely proud of each and every one of you. It is important to us that you all know to be proud of yourselves as well. Putting aside the many ways that school systems have come up with to evaluate success, simply getting to this point of graduation is in itself an incredible achievement. We have all dealt with all sorts of challenges, conflicts, traumas, and confusion, both personally and together as a class. And to be able to say that you got through all of that, that you managed to handle everything life has thrown at you and get to the end of high school is something that we all deserve to be proud of. While we consider what we have all gone through this past year, it's clear that being kind to others and being kind to yourself is one of the most important things you can do. There is no lighthearted way to describe what we've all been through. This year we were asked to continue performing to academic and administrative standards that are difficult to reach in a typical year, uh, all, while all of the support systems and activities we've grown to rely on were either taken away from us or changed into something unrecognizable. We were expected to live up to normal expectations in a year where trying to do so meant risking our own health and safety. Remember that those standards, the exams, the grades, the extracurriculars, the expectations, none of those things matter more than simply living and finding joy in life. Know that your own health and well-being take precedence over any obligation you may feel to appear strong and happy in front of others. This school and the people in it have given us all so much, and while we owe them all gratitude and appreciation, we owe it to ourselves to live up to our own standards moving forward, not anyone else's. While the past four years may not have always been comfortable, 
there has always been a familiar and consistent path to follow. Now, we're all headed into new and unfamiliar places, with new expectations and new people. There, we will inevitably experience pressures from new people to act like them, to work towards fitting in. It can be incredibly easy to question your own individuality and personal values when entering new spaces, and we'd like to give you some advice from a renowned conservationist and anthropologist, Jane Goodall. Every individual matters. Every individual has a role to play. Every individual makes a difference. As we leave behind the familiar, it is incredibly important to remember that you are enough just as you are now. Diversifying our experiences and learning from others are vital things, but just as vital is valuing yourself and remaining focused on what you believe and who you want to become. I'd like to reiterate how honored I am to have walked through high school with you all. Everything that we have been through and taken on together gives me the utmost confidence that every member of this class is capable of incredible things. My final piece of advice is this. Please go through life with compassion and forgiveness at the heart of all that you do, and treat yourself with at least as much kindness and respect as you give to others. Protect those around you, and always stand up for what you believe. Thank you all, and congratulations. Jude Harden. Azad McTeer Martin Hedgepeth. Robert Kirk Risher Hedgepeth. Rebecca Eleanor Helm. Samuel Mason Helton. Katie Renee Highfield. Carter Benjamin Hill. Olivia Marie Hodge. Matthew Lawrence Hood. Neve Janelle Hoskins. Elliot Gray Howard. Anna Marie Lynn Huff. Abby Isla Hunter. Scarlett Alexandra Rose Hurst. Elizabeth Marie Jackson. Raphael Alexander Jackson. John Wesley Gerald. Caitlin Sadie Gerald. Daniel Herbert Bradburn Gillesco. Claire Elise Jenkins. Donovan Elias Johnson. Hannah Lee Jones. Mary Elizabeth Jordan. Brian Kim. Caroline Lily Kirby. Samuel Reed Kirk. Neil Rahan Klemba. Emerson Giovanna Canola. Alexander Ward Cusack. Brianna Marie Kuhar.
Devin Ray LaBergere. Rainey Astrid Lackey. Aaron Alexander Lafon. Nicholas Eugene Lawrence. Dassel Lee. Emma Whitaker Layman. Nathaniel John Layman. Byron Jeffrey Parks. We ask that all parents and other guests please remain in place during the recessional until all graduates have left the field. However, it is my honor to complete one more task this morning. Seniors, please rise. Move your tassels from the right to the left. And now, by the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of the Virginia Department of Education and the Montgomery County School Board, I declare you to be graduates of Blacksburg High School, class of 2021.